Well, good evening and welcome back to Rainbow Investing, where we examine a spectrum of ideas to improve your long-term wealth. My name is Sebastian and today we are looking at how to use Microsoft Excel to track a hypothetical stock portfolio. Microsoft Excel, along with many spreadsheets, is a really great way to sort of have a look at how your portfolio is doing, have a look at how much it's worth, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you how to use Excel to do that today. So as you can see, what I've got here is just a very simple set out portfolio template, as it were. Um, we have uh, stock here, ticker symbol here, share price here, amount of shares owned and the value of your position. So what I'm going to do to start with, I've, I've written the just the names Apple and Microsoft here, but um, we'll write a couple more. So let's say we've got Berkshire Hathaway. Um, let's go Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Let's go, that's some nice easy companies. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all these names here, go to the data tab and select stocks. Now what that will do is assign it a stock value. So now it's linked to Microsoft servers. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll just select all of these stocks here. Now they've been officially linked. And see, if you see this symbol up here, you can click that and get a range of options. So because the first column is ticker, I'll go down to ticker symbol, press it, and it'll automatically fill out the ticker symbol here. And then we can do the same with the share price. So I'll go and find price and it will fill it out here. So how it works is it automatically fills the next blank uh, cell. So it won't, it won't actually, um, it, it isn't automatically aligning it to the columns. It's just going on the, on the next cell. So if I pick Apple and then pick um, currency, it will just fill it out in the next cell. And obviously the currency isn't the same as shares own. So I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so the next, the next column is shares own and that's really how many shares you own. So say we have 10 shares of Apple, uh, five shares of Microsoft, one share of Berkshire Hathaway, I wish. You can see the price there is 343,000 US dollars. So if you own any shares of Berkshire Hathaway Class A, you're already doing very well. Coca-Cola, let's just say we have another 10 shares of that. And McDonald's will say 20, because who doesn't like McDonald's? Okay. So now what we can do for value is link these two cells here and that will give us how much our portfolio is worth. So what I'm going to do is type in the formula equals that tells Excel that it's a formula we're doing and we'll select this cell times the symbol for times is star this cell and then press enter and then it'll come up with our value. Um, and now if we do the same thing, all we have to do is select this little square here, drag it down, and it will apply the same formula down the row. Okay, so now we have the stocks, how many shares of that stock we might own in our hypothetical portfolio, the current share price, and the value. Now, the great thing about Microsoft Excel is that it updates in real time. So if we go to data and click refresh all, it will automatically pull the latest stock price. And if it changes, these, these values here will change. And the corresponding value of our position will change depending on the current market price. Okay, and so we wanted to know how much our total portfolio was worth. This is a really easy way of doing it. I'd select all these cells, go to formulas, and press auto sum. And that will give us the total value of our portfolio here. Now, just to make it a bit cleaner, we can sort of, we can do it like this. Value. We can, may as well do it properly. So this is a really easy way of just building a, you know, tracking your own portfolio, seeing how much it's worth, and you can make it update in real time as long as you have Microsoft Excel. I think it's part of Office 365 that the um, this data tab works. And you can also, you can do all kinds of things with it. So if we go here, uh, we can see 52-week low. 
Let's throw that column out a bit. There we go. Uh, 52 week high. Type of industry it's in. So you can see Apple, it's computers, phones, and household electronics. Uh, Microsoft is software and IT services, etc., etc. Um, if we wanted to do, I'll just get rid of these now. So we wanted to do beta. Beta. I don't know why it's gone to current. Oh, it's probably, yeah. So it's not beta, it's obviously not a currency value. So I'll just get rid of that. Cool. Okay. And then we can also, you can also do things like, so this is the beta for each stock. Um, you can do an average and that will give, oh, and that, and then it will give you an average for your entire portfolio. So this is our entire portfolio. The beta average beta would be 0 0.8 on average. Unfortunately, the only thing Microsoft Excel doesn't do is dividend yield. Um, it does almost everything else. So I'm really hoping that they'll add that sometime in the future because that would be a very useful t statistic. But at the current time, it doesn't. So we can do market cap, etc. So as you can see, it's a very, very useful tool um, and it works with, with stocks all over the world. So I live in Australia. So for our Australian friends, let's pick a an Australian company. Let's just go Westpac Bank. And if we do the same thing, data, stocks. Now often with international stocks, it'll give you um, a few options. And if it's not sure, it will just... Um, ask you to, to search on yourself. So here, yep, we, so we can see um, Westpac Banking Corporation here, Australian Stock Exchange, so we'll just select that, and and it gives you the stock exchange code and the ticker code for Australia, and you can do the same thing. So we'll do ticker symbol, price. Let's just say we have, I don't know, eight shares of Westpac. Um, we'll do the same thing, equals this, times this, enter, there we go. Now, of course, um, these amounts are in US dollars, and these amounts are in Australian dollars. So if you wanted to convert the two, put USD, AUD, click stocks. Okay, so now it's actually found the currency exchange rate. So if we just go price. So at the moment, one US dollar is worth 1.51 Australian dollars. So if you wanted to convert, say, these amounts to Australian dollars, what we would do is we would, I'll just make this column value Australian. So we've got here B12. So we'll go equals this cell times the 12. And that will give the value in Australian dollars. So there's all sorts of things you can do with Excel. It's a really useful tool for tracking your own portfolio. You can do it for free. It updates in real time. And you can do all sorts of things like currency exchanges. You can even do gold. So there you have it, guys. That's how to build a... Excel spreadsheet that can track a hypothetical stock portfolio. I hope you found this video interesting, just a short one today. It's a very useful technique, it's one that I use all the time, and I hope you found it useful. If you've got any suggestions or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I will get to them as always. But that's all I've got for you today. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I will be back with some more videos soon. But for now, good night.